What's up vloggies? Welcome back to another video. I am super pumped. I'm gonna make a um uh another video of that later. But today I'm here to, as you read by the title, I'm um, doing my kickoff show of um I guess uh SummerSlam 2017 kickoff show review. Once again, the main card predictions will be tomorrow. And uh, I just wanna thank you guys, you know. You I'll I'll do the video later, but I just wanna say thank you. Um You'll see you later. Uh, yeah. So, if, I guess if you're new to my channel, welcome. I guess this is the, the next video you'll see if you're new. Uh, by the way, I'd like to s thank my mom. If you guys, if you're watching this, um, baka pumunta po kayo dahil sa nanay ko. If you don't know what that means, that means you you probably went to my channel because of my mom. So, yeah, hopefully don't get nosebleed. I will speak English a lot. Um, so, uh, sorry po kung um, mano nosebleed po kayo. Anyways, let's just go on. Uh, if you're a WWE fan, go watch this. If you're not, uh, why are you even watching this? But yeah, anyways, let's do it. Um, I guess a kickoff show, first match. By the way, guys, um, I guess I'm back. It's been a couple of hours. Sorry if my hair's kind of wet. It's raining right now and it's night, almost night. And I guess I just, you know, played soccer and I changed. I'm just gonna take a bath after this. But anyways, guys, um, the matches on this card was not good. I did not expect any of these matches. It went nowhere against my predictions. But yeah, uh, I guess first match, Jason Jordan and the Hardy Boys versus the Mizdaraj. The Mizdaraj wins. Um, I guess Miz wants to put it back like it was before. You now, where he actually faced John Cena, he was actually in the main event of WrestleMania, and I think he's gonna do that with the Mr. Raj. But, you know, Miz is a good dude, slick dude. Um, I guess he's trying to make a statement for himself, you know, to, I guess, win. Uh, yeah, so we could put it back in the normal ways. Not saying that I don't want, um, I don't want the Hardy Boys to win, but I guess Miz wins, it's fine. Uh, Miz wins are not that, you know, exciting, but I guess it's fine. The second match is the Usos versus the New Day. Um, I did not expect this. The Usos win back the championships, which I have nothing against with. I think the Usos are great gimmicks. Um, I just think they're kind of bland as champions, like they don't defend it that often, only in pay-per-views. So that's why I'm kind of like going down on the Usos. But, you know, they're good champions nonetheless. Um, they're really good, actually. And yeah, I th think people should really, you know, like the Usos more than now. Um, yeah, uh, you know, nothing against the Usos, I said, but it doesn't make sense for me that much. So whatever, the Usos win. Um, I guess it's gonna, that feud's gonna keep on continuing. This probably gonna stop New Day from trying to feud with the Usos. And probably, maybe Chad Gable, ja Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, if you guys didn't see SmackDown, uh, they reunited. I, I'm not saying that they're, they were a tag team before, but yeah, they became a tag team. Also, Bobby Roode uh, was in SmackDown anyways. Um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys. But... Yeah, I guess they will feud against Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Excited to see Ch Shelton Benjamin in the ring. I'm not really familiar with Shelton Benjamin. Like, I'm not, like, you know, one of those early wrestling fans. But really excited what Shelton Benjamin has in store. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, my prediction is that you're gonna have a feud. And this is gonna be really, really dope. And I don't know what's happen what's gonna happen to the New Day next. So, yeah, I guess it's fine if the Usos win. Next one, I think the final match in the kickoff show, Akira Tozawa versus Neville. <sighs> it's very disappointing because Neville won it back. Nothing against that, like I said. Um, Neville's a really good heel in the cruiserweights. Um, but Akira's just made out of a joke, man. Like, everyone made him out of a joke. Ne Neville made the joke out of him, actually. And I think that's pretty bad. I I could have, like, predicted him to win it for, like, a week and then relinquish it or, or, like, lose it to someone else. I just don't like it like that where Akira Tozawa, like, the, the first night in Raw showed that he does have potential to become the Cruiserweight Champion. Then the next night on a pay-per-view, which is basically the same as just a normal WWE show, um, he loses it. So it's like all that hard work 
Whom? Gone. Over there, it's gone. Um, yeah, I don't really agree with this. Um, tell me you guys, tell me your thoughts, guys. But yeah, I guess that's it. Um, just a very quick, I guess, review for the kickoff show. Main card predictions coming tomorrow. And yeah, guys, stay tuned for a vlog tomorrow as well. It's gonna be very exciting. I uh, expect that vlog tomorrow to be in separate parts. And yeah, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Enjoy. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to become a vloggy. Peace out.